Do you sometimes suffer from premature electrification? Symptoms include lusting over EVs not yet released and in a market far from your own. Well, have I got the car for you. It's the Xiaomi U7 that everyone is calling their Model Y competitor. In this video, I'll compare what we know of the two and also prematurely speculate on what we know of the upcoming Tesla refresh codenamed Juniper to see how the Xiaomi stacks up. A while back, I did in-depth videos on the Xiaomi Su7. You can check those out. The one thing I would change is I kept calling it SU7, but the cool cats in China call it Su7. Now the AI-generated videos online are pronouncing this gorgeous compact SUV, the YU7, but I think I'm going to pronounce it the U7, and I'll probably be wrong again. Here's what you need to know about the Su7 versus the Model 3. The Xiaomi is a little larger, let's say about 5% bigger. There are different models, Standard, Pro, Max, and now an Ultra, which is their version of the Porsche Vysak package for the Taycan. Comparing the Su7 Max to the Model 3 Performance, it is more powerful, 800 volts with a larger battery for longer range. It is less than the Model 3 currently, but prices in China are like the weather in Michigan. Just wait a few minutes and it'll change. With all the stuff the Su7 has, Tesla does have one advantage. It weighs less. With all that in mind, let's look at the U7. Based on the photos, wow, wow that's a good looking car. You know, it's being compared to the looks of the Ferrari Pur Sangue. And yeah, nice. The model shown in the picture must be their Max version, based on the wheels, the painted brake calipers, and some other features. So I'll compare it to the current Model Y performance and speculate on what we should expect from the Juniper refresh, which should come early in the new year in China. This data is official, based on a submission to the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. So the crossover from Xiaomi will be about the same size as their sedan, and a little larger than the Tesla's. The Model Y is taller, so maybe more headroom, but that's how the U7 gets that sporty look. Oh, oops, no, sorry, that's the, that's the Ferrari. This is the Xiaomi. Power will be more than the Model Y. Based on what we got from the Model 3 Highland refresh, I would expect the Model Y to get a boost from the levels it has today, maybe up to 550 horsepower, but still, it's gonna be shy of the Xiaomi U7 Max. Expect it to use the same 101 kilowatt hour max battery pack using CATL batteries to feed those more powerful motors. Range for the new Xiaomi was not indicated in the filing, but also expect that to be more than the Model Y performance. And actually, the Model 3 performance lost a little bit of range with the refresh because of the power increase. Unless Tesla boosts the battery capacity on the performance version of the Model Y with the refresh by, let's say, another 20 kilowatt hours, the Xiaomi U7 will have more range and more power. Xiaomi did reveal curb weight, and with a bigger battery comes more weight. Yeah, I forgot to mention that the CATL battery is ternary or nickel manganese cobalt chemistry, like the Model Y performance and the U7 is going to be 900 pounds heavier with that larger battery. Again, these are the performance models. You can get smaller batteries and less powerful motors in the standard or in the pro or long range models for both manufacturers. I tried really, really hard to squint at the writing on the tires. It looks like they are 21 inches. That would be like the Model Y Performance, Michelin Pilot Sport, like the Su7 Max, yeah, now, this is a wild guess. I'm using my Mark 1 eyeball. I think it looks like it's a staggered setup where the rear wheels are wider than the front. That would be like the Model Y Performance, but using a higher 40 series profile, unlike the Model Y Performance and their 35 series, which some of you will say advantage Tesla, but seriously, 35 series tires are just a bad idea if you live anywhere near pothole or, or just anywhere. From the images you can see at the top of a windshield, is a LiDAR sensor. Further indication that this is the MAX model, which has their Pilot MAX driver assistance system. Pilot Pro is the standard camera-only system that competes with Tesla's Autopilot. 
And remember, Tesla FSD supervised that we have in the US is not yet available in China. Vice President Musk now says to expect that in early 2025, unless China wants to use that as some kind of geopolitical bargaining chip. Bottom line, what is this going to cost? I expect Tesla to announce the refresh Model Y with a bump in power and some refinements to the interior and exterior early in 2025. Price, that's the magic number. And I'm not going to guess, and I don't think Xiaomi's going to guess either. They're going to launch this sexy crossover at the end of Q2 next year. And by then, they'll know what to expect from Tesla's new model and its new pricing, and they'll adjust that accordingly. Sales of the Xiaomi Su7 are killing it. And the only thing that may slow it down are people who might want to wait for the U7 or the YU7. As for Tesla, here's another formidable competitor going after its best-selling vehicle. More to come on this in the new year. If you're interested, check out my ramblings on other social media channels, including Blue Sky, Threads, and TikTok.